In the second part of the 20th century, the United States emerged as a global leader in air power technology. From high-performance fighters such as the F-15 and at 16 to very stealthy bombers such as the B-2 Spirit. Now when the B-21 sails into service, it will be the first of a new set of sophisticated platforms that will soon fill America's hangars. The B-21 Raider will enter service in the mid-2020s followed by the Air Force's next-generation air dominance fighter in the mid-2030s and the Navy's F-AXS fighter shortly after that. The B-21 Raider will not only replace the B-2 Spirit, it will also replace the B-1B Lancer with a supersonic payload. This will be achievable as the Air Force aims to buy more than 100 of these new bombers, five times the number of B-2s ever delivered. And because the B-21 Raider has constantly been reported on time and on budget, this is one covered program that could really see delivery match estimates. In actual terms, the launch of the B-21 Raider today is as bit as dramatic as the introduction of its predecessor in 1988. Like the B-2, the new bomber might revolutionize the way America handles air warfare, complicating fighting. Calculus future opponents will need to overcome when challenging states and raise the bar in terms of what can be accomplished quietly, both for deterrent and combat capacity. Modularity is now all the rage in military aviation for good reason. In the past, mission systems comprised of software and hardware substantially integrated together, so changing these systems required replacing physical components. The Raider, like the F-35 Joint Strike Fighter, is built with a modular system that can enable software updates and alterations to enhance its mission set or capabilities without affecting the default computer. This implies the B-21 will be able to adapt to new systems being developed in the future years. Whether we are talking about new standoff missiles to be launched from the aircraft payload compartment, or new electronic warfare capabilities meant to reinforce its capacity to operate with impunity at sea, in strongly guarded airspace. In other words, the B-21 Raider will be able to stay up with the times even though its forward-leading design is starting to seem a bit more obsolete. The Raider is designed on an open systems architecture, which makes it incredibly adaptable, explains Austin. While the United States continues to change, this battle will be able to protect our nation with new weapons that haven't even been conceived yet. And the B-21 is multipurpose. It can handle anything from acquiring intel to management fights to interaction with our friends and partners, and it will function smoothly across disciplines and theaters and even combined armies. The F-35 has proved the advantages of an open systems design, with regular changes to onboard systems not only altering the sorts of weaponry it can carry, but even increasing the fighter's aerobatic performance as continuing testing continues to display the potential of the aircraft. Early in the operational life of a fighter aircraft, its performance was limited by the computers inside to ensure the airframe was not overstressed. But as F-35 pilot Hazard Lee once explained, the aircraft has received updates that unlock even better performance simply because it is proven that the aircraft can hold it. The B-21 is anticipated to conduct its maiden test flight in 2023.